I'm in a Japanese French bakery right now outside of Akiba. She needs to have a ridiculous amount of awesome looking baked goods. Including some really awesome looking Christmas themed ones, including a tree made out of what appears to be solid chocolate. So I ended getting on one of the uh, Yamanote trains that's Pokemon themed. Now these little signs of our various Pokemon on the outside. It's actually decorated. I'm in a back area in Harajuku right now, currently meandering around trying to find Secret Base. I believe it's up around one of these streets over here. This area is kind of confusing because it's just made out of like these windy little streets, but I'm fairly certain. Yeah, these little windy streets that you can apparently drive cars on. But I'm fairly certain it's around here. During my search for Secret Base, it appears as if Kitty Land has been remodeled and moved to the back area of where it actually used to be. It actually used to be over on the main street, but now it's over here by uh, with the uh, Paul Smith store and some of the other clothing stores. I was a tad disappointed to see that the store carries a very small amount of Common Rider figures. I've been walking for a bit now, and it seems that these little roads keep going on, which is a lot more vast than I recall this place being. I hope I don't get too far off the beaten path because I have to get back to Shibuya tonight for a concert. This is one of the views from one of the back roads in Harajuku. You can see over here and this crazy architecture on the side of this building which goes up on like a triangle shape without a tip. This vending machine has been like a Christmasized, those sort of little ornaments and fake snow and lights and stuff. And down there is the main area of Harajuku, or Harajuku meets Aoyama. Right now I'm actually heading this way, which down there is Shibuya and towards like the rest of Harajuku. I'm outside UT Harajuku right now, which sells Uniqlo clothes. And right now, they're still doing the Monster Hunter theme, so all of their little digital displays are all Monster Hunter themed. As well as the whole inside of the store. The place where Ed Harris and I ended up getting our glasses the first time, it was this like humble wooden floor and little glasses place is now this super super trendy like uber lit store so i'm pretty much in shibuya right now however before i go over and cross the street there is a rockabilly store a cream soda i think you can actually see that little sign right there which i'm going to stop into to see if they have anything new since the last time we were here so I just arrived back in Shibuya from walking from Harajuku. I ended up stopping at Cream Soda and ended up picking up a pin there for a, a couple of bucks that was pretty cool looking. It's just their logo. It had some flags too that I was thinking about getting, but they were over $10, so it's like, eh, I'll think about it and then maybe I'll go back and get it. But right now I'm heading over to Sataya so I can go and plan for the Tsushima Miri concert tonight. Find out exactly how to get there. It's actually infinitely busier than it was the other day here, which is really awesome. And it, they finally ended up lighting up the Christmas display outside of Shibuya 109. So right now I'm looking at a Calpis based alcoholic beverage. What's in it? It's grape um, Calpis liqueur with some soda, I think. Apparently there's a Calpis liqueur, which is news to me. <laughs> but it looks rather intriguing. It looks a little yeah. less milky than I anticipated. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But it should probably be delicious. This should sound, it tastes like Calpis. Yeah, it definitely has a creamy... Don't try. It's, it's really good. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like cup. It does taste just like cup. <laughs>
This is eerie. I've never been by Yodabashi camera when it was closed. A matter of fact, this whole little plaza area appears to be completely shut down for the night. It is insanely early though, <laughs> so I can totally understand why everything is totally shut down. I ended up hanging around Shibuya for a while, I ended up hitting a rock bar and then a lounge. Only for a little bit though. Now I'm on my way home to process some pictures and some video. And then heading to sleep. Tomorrow is actually going to be my very last full like night in the actual city. Saturday I'm heading to the middle of nowhere to go to the Bandai Museum. But Hopefully tomorrow will be enjoyable.